The ESP32 can only be used to control low powered peripherals. In this video, I'll show you how to use a relay board to control high voltage devices like a light or an outlet. Now, before you begin, a quick disclaimer, please be careful when using a relay to switch mains voltage. Make sure you know what you're doing, otherwise you could injure yourself. All right, with that out of the way, let's get started by connecting the relay board to the ESP32. Each relay board will require at least three wires. First, you need to power the board itself with the VCC and ground pins. Most boards will work with an input voltage of three to five volts. I'll connect the VCC pin on the relay board to the three volts pin on the ESP32 and I'll connect ground to ground. Then the relay board will have a number of input pins depending on how many relays it has. My board has two relays, so it's got two input pins. And controlling the relay is relatively simple. Putting power on input pin one will turn relay one on. Cutting the power on that pin will turn it back off. The same thing goes for input pin two and relay number two. So on top of VCC and ground, I will connect the in one pin to one of the GPIO pins on my ESP32. I'll go for pin number four. Now let's try and write an Arduino program that toggles relay one every second. Here I have an empty program and I'll start by creating a constant for my relay pin. So I'll say define relay pin and I will set it to four because that's the pin where I've connected my relay to. Now, before we can start using this pin, we have to configure it. I'll do that in the setup function. In here, I will call pin mode followed by the pin number that we want to configure, which in our case is relay underscore pin. Then we have to define the mode of the pin. This can either be input or output. Now, in this case, we want to use the pin as an output pin. So I'm going to write output. With that done, we can start controlling the relay. In the loop function, I now want to turn the relay on, wait for a second, turn it off, wait another second, and then loop again. To actuate the relay, we have to use digital write. Now this function expects two parameters, a pin number and a value. I will pass along relay pin as the pin number, and then I will use high to turn it on. Now writing high to a pin is basically like putting three volts of power on that pin, which in this case will turn on the relay. After this, I will add a delay of one second, and then I will use digital write again, only to this time turn the pin off. So I will write low to it. And then after that, we will wait another second before starting the loop function again. And that's it. Let's now flash this to our ESP32 and see if it works. And once that's done, you can hear the relay turning on and off at one second intervals. And in my case, you can also see the status LED blinking as well. Now you know how to control the relay, but how do you connect something to it? Let's say a light bulb. Well, your light bulb receives power through two cables, live and neutral. You want to use the relay to interrupt one of these cables so that you can control the power to the light. Now each relay has three connections, common, normally closed and normally open. You should always connect one wire to the common pin and because lights use AC power, it doesn't matter if that's the live or neutral wire. The other wire should be connected to either the normally open or normally closed pin. The difference between them is simple. Normally closed means that the circuit is closed by default unless you interrupt it with the relay. So if you have a bulb connected to the normally closed pin, it will turn on by default. Normally open is exactly the opposite. Current won't flow unless you allow it. In this situation, you have to take action, i.e. turn on the relay, for the light to turn on. Now in most situations, you want to connect your device to the normally open pin. Now besides lights, there are other things that you can control with relays, like a wall outlet, a garage door, window blinds, and so on. Let me know in the comments below how you will use your relay and remember to keep it safe. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to support the channel.